Hi, in this video I am going to install Argo CD and deploy a simple application stored in GitLab by Argo CD. Before I begin, I want to say several words about Argo CD. It is a GitOps tool for Kubernetes. In simple words, GitOps is an approach for deploying your applications and infrastructure when Git is a single place of truth. Before starting an installation, you need to fulfill the requirements, install kubectl and prepare access to the Kubernetes cluster. There are two types of installation, multi-tenant and core. The multi-tenant installation is the most common way to install Argo CD. This type of installation is typically used to service multiple application developer teams. By the way, there are two types of multi-tenant installation, non-high availability and high availability or HA. Furthermore, each type is divided into standard installation and installation which requires only namespace level privileges. The Argo CD core installation is primarily used to deploy Argo CD in headless mode. All details about this type can be found in the official documentation. Lastly, you can install Argo CD using Helm or Customize. To conclude, I am going to use standard Argo CD installation in HA mode. Ok, let's get started. Open the manifest with the HA version. Then create the directory named base and the file install.yaml in it. Copy and paste the manifest into it. After that, create a customization.yaml file where set install.yaml in the resources section. In my case, I have one environment named test, so I will create the directory overlays with one directory test. Why so? I tell about this structure in my video about customize. I recommend it for watching to understand this program clearly. In the directory test, create a customization.yaml file and the directory named files. If you have installed the Ingress Nginx controller, you can put the Ingress manifest into the files directory. Note that the domain for my Argo CD is argocd.company.com. I added one annotation because I had redirect loops when connecting to the Argo CD web interface. It's time to make customizations of the Argo CD manifest. Open your customization.yaml file. Firstly, paste standard strings with API version and kind. Then specify files in the resources section, ingress.yaml and base directory. Add namespace field. After that, add the secret generator section with three keys, username, password, URL. Finally, add a patch section with one patch. This patch will set one label into the secret created by secret generator. Argo CD will use the credentials configured in this secret to access your GitLab. Next, we need to make credentials for authenticating in the GitLab repository. First, create a group where the project will be stored. Then create a blank project and put it into the created group. After, create an access token for Argo CD. Copy and paste your token in the key password in Secret Generator. In the key URL, paste the URL of your group. In the key username, put the name of your token. In my case, it is Argo CD. We are ready to install Argo CD. Open your terminal. Create the namespace Argo CD and then install Argo CD using the command kubectl apply with the K option. All pods are running. Let's go into the web user interface. Add domain argocd.company.com to the etc hosts file. If you are not familiar with Ingress, watch my video about MetalLB and Ingress Nginx controller. Alternatively, if you don't have installed Ingress Nginx controller, you can connect to the Argo CD web interface using the kubectl port forward command. Then check a connection.
The admin password is stored in the secret argo cd-initial-admin-secret in the key password. Retrieve it and login. As you know, secrets are stored in base64 format, so we need to decode it. Let's log into argo cd. In settings in repositories, you can find one template created by our secret generator. We are ready to deploy an application. I have prepared a simple Helm chart before. How to do your Helm charts you can find in one of my videos. My Helm chart consists of a config map, deployment and ingress. The config map contains the index.html page. Depending on the environment, test production or something else, the text color will be different. The deployment contains an nginx image for a container to which the config map will be attached. Of course, there is a service for the deployment. Host in the ingress depends on the environment too. If the Helm chart is deployed in the test environment, the domain will be myprogramtest.company.com. Here you can see the color of the text that will be used in the test environment. You can download this Helm chart from my Git repository. The URL is in the description. Put the Helm chart into the created project. To do it, open the directory where your .helm directory is stored. Use the push an existing folder section. The Helm chart is uploaded. The next step is to configure Argo CD for monitoring this repository and deploy the Helm chart to the cluster. To do it, in Argo CD there is an object called application. On the screen you can see an example of the application. In the rip URL field, you define a repository where manifests for deploying are stored. In the target revision field, you define the branch in this repository. In the path field, you define the directory in the repository. In the namespace field, you define the namespace where the application will be deployed. In my case, I want to deploy an application that will synchronize other applications stored in the test apps directory. I have prepared this application before. Let's create a repository for these apps. Then push the application to the repository. Use the push an existing folder section. Open the repository and copy the link from the clone with HTTPS section. Paste it in the repo URL field. Push your changes to the repository. After that, apply the manifest with the application using kubectl. Check the application in the Argo CD user interface. There is an error authentication required. I added the wrong URL in my repo secret. Let's fix this. The URL must be without the word groups. Change URL and apply the Argo CD manifest again. Then delete the application and deploy it again. There is a new error. I haven't created test app path yet. Let's do it and recheck the application. Refresh the application. The application was synced. Everything looks good. Finally, deploy the Helm chart using Argus CD. To do it, you need to create an application again. I have done it before. You can see it on the screen. The path is .helm. In the .helm directory, the Helm chart is stored. In the repo URL field is a link to the repository. There is a new section Helm. I set the values file in it and the value with the environment. Namespace is my program test. 
In the Sync Policy section, I added one option to create a namespace automatically. Push the application to the remote repository. You can see that our main application deployed the My Program application in the cluster. Let's look at the My Program application. Oh, there is an error again. The Helm app path does not exist. The reason for this error, I pushed the Helm chart without the directory .helm. Let's fix it. To do it, move the directory .git from the .helm directory to the directory my program where .helm is stored. After that, push the changes to the remote repository. Refresh the app. Good, the Helm chart was deployed. Let's look at the main page of my program. I need to add the domain name in my etc host file again. You can see that everything works smoothly. For example, I want to change the color of the font in the test environment. First, change the value, second, push your changes. Third, refresh the application and check the result. The color of the font was changed. That's it, we've installed Argo CD and deployed the simple application. We also have troubleshooted some issues. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.